hi guys and welcome to our series on uh, endocrinology uh, we'll be looking at thyroid gland in this lesson um, first of all we'll just look at the brief anatomy and overview of the thyroid gland and then subsequently we we'll look at how these hormones the thyroid hormones are synthesized all right now so um, the thyroid gland is one of the endocrine uh, organs or glands uh, it's situated in the neck right don't mind me i'm using my neck situated in the neck uh, below the larynx okay below the larynx and in front of the trachea all right if you look at this my my funky diagram uh, this is the larynx okay and then um, this is the trachea oh, i'm sorry this is the thyroid gland and then this is the trachea so the 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 thyroid gland uh, is located below the larynx and in front of the trachea okay now it is uh, it has it is it's made up of two lobes right one on this side one on this side and then these two lobes are connected uh, with a broad uh, structure known as the isthmus okay now this gland is highly vascular very very important it's highly vascular now um, it is also covered with fibrous tissue very important take note of that is covered with what fibrous tissue now at the back right so behind each of these uh, loops because I say we have two loops right two loops that are connected by an isthmus so behind this um, behind these loops you have two um, parathyroid glands so behind this you have two parathyroid glands okay now so um, the, the the thyroid gland uh, actually weighs about um, 25 grams okay it weighs about 25 grams and I say it's vascular now so let's look at it so I've um, I've removed this gland I've placed it here and um, let's look at the the structure of this gland okay now this gland is made up of um, a lot of cells all right and then um, one of the cells that you should never forget um, uh, this group of um, cuboidal epithelial cells, right? Cuboidal epithelial cells, all right? So these are cuboidal epithelial cells, and these cells are called follicular cells. They are called what? Follicular cells, all right? Now, in each of these cells, each of these cells, uh, each of these uh, follicular cells, if you still zoom into it, which we'll do in our subsequent, um, uh, subsequently, this one is what? Follicular cell. Each of these. Okay, so we'll look at that. So it's made up of, um, it's made up of single layer of cuboidal epithelial cells. Now, in the center, in the, the center of this follicular cell, we have a lumen, all right? And within this lumen, we have a, a clear a, a clear proteinous fluid called colloid all right now between between this um between this uh, follicular cell we still have some other funky cells right we will still have some other cells and these cells are called parafollicular cells what are they called they are called parafollicular cells so these cells are called what follicular cells and then adjacent, uh, as, uh, adjacent to these cells, we have some other cells known as parafollicular cells, or you can also call them C cells. Okay, so the follicular cell basically produces um, two types of hormones, uh, which is T3 and T4, right? While the um, the C cells or the parafollicular cells produces calcitonin. Okay, all right, so um, we'll, 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 now I'll we'll take one of this cell, okay, and I will make it bigger, I'll zoom it so that you see how this uh, cell look like. So let's assume this is one of these follicular cell, okay, and then um, it has a lumen here, and then these are, uh, all right. Okay, so let's say I have something like this. I have something like this. All right. All 
All right. Now, so this is the lumen, right? This is the lumen that actually contains what? Colloid. All right. So this is what we have the colloid. And um, in a subsequent lesson, you will discover what actually make up this colloid. What actually make up the colloid is um, uh, the T3 and the T4 and some other um, substances like tyroglobulin. Now, so if I further zoom into one section of this cell, right? Let's assume I want to zoom into one section of this cell. Remember I said this is for follicular cell, do you remember? And this follicular cell, this follicular cell is made up of what? Uh, cuboidal, right? Cuboidal epithelial cells. All right. Now, if I zoom just one of this cell, right, it's actually, if you look at it, it's, it's like cone shape. Okay. It looks like a cone. So let me assume something like this. Right. Something like this. All right. So let's assume I just zoom in uh, into this. All right. Now, it has, um, if you notice, it has four surfaces. This is the, the first surface, uh, one surface, this other surface, and these are other surfaces. Okay, so since this side is closer to the lumen, all right, this is closer to the lumen. Remember, I just bring out this one. So this is this aspect. So we can call this aspect the luminal side. Okay, this is the luminal side. And then this side is the basal side. So let me label it. This is what? The basal membrane basal membrane now this is what this is the luminal luminal membrane or you can also call it epical right or apical so we just let's allow luminal for now and then this is the lateral membrane or you know lateral side okay now but two these two regions are very very important for us they are super important now let's assume we have a blood a blood vessel um, a blood vessel like this, all right. All right, now a blood vessel will have some, um, some raw materials that will be needed to produce um, T3 and T4. Remember, I told us that, that the follicular cells are responsible for what for the production of T3 and T4. So that means uh, the production and then the release, the production and release, everything still takes place within these follicular cells. So, and then the materials that are needed to form this T3 and T4 will be coming from where? From the blood stream. Now, so at the, uh, um, on this um, basal uh, surface, on this basal surface, we have a structure um, called the iodide pump, all right? So let's assume this is what? The iodide pump. This is what? Iodide pump. Okay, this is iodide pump. Now, very, very important, it helps to what? To move iodide, okay? Help towards, you know, your, your iodide, iodide are gotten from the food you eat, seafood, and um, uh, in, in most of the food we eat is uh, uh, those food are rich in iodide, okay, or iodine, which is converted to iodide. Now, this iodide pump, all right, um, helps to shift iodide, iodide from this aspect, right, from the blood vessel to the interstitia and then into across we'll look at all of this in depth i just want to give you a general overview right now so um iodide this iodide pump helps to what to transport iodine right uh from the from the basal membrane or from this other side of the membrane into the luminal side now one more other thing that you should know within the cytoplasm of this um uh, cuboidal uh, cuboidal epithelial cell, we have a, a proteinous uh, substance known as tyroglobulin. Tyroglobin. Okay? 
And also, in our subsequent lesson, you discover that this thyroglobin is also needed, right? It's needed for the synthesis of what? Of T3 and T4. So what have we seen so far? We have seen that the thyroid gland is located where? In the neck, okay? Below the larynx, right? And in front of the trachea. And then we say that uh, it is what highly vascular and is surrounded by what a fibrous capsule. It is made up of what two loops. There are two loops, okay? And these two loops are connected by a structure known as what the isthmus. And behind the thyroid gland, behind it, behind each of these loops, we have two parathyroid glands, okay? Um, um, that means now we are having how many thyroid, parathyroid glands? Four of them. And then we say that this gland, the thyroid gland, weighs about what? 25 grams. And then uh, if we look at the cells within the, within the gland, we see that we have two distinct types of cells. The first type of cell is known as a follicular cell that uh, is responsible for the production of T3 and T4. And then we have, uh, adjacent to them, we have another set of cells, these cells in green, uh, known as parafollicular cells or C cells that are necessary for the production of what calcitonin. Okay, and then we, we try to, to look at the microscopic aspect of this follicular cell, and then we say that this, this cell, follicular cell, is made up of what? Cuboidal or single layer of cuboidal epithelial cells. And then in the center, we have a lumen, right? In the center of this follicular cell, we have a lumen, and this lumen is made up of what? A clear fluid known as colloid. Uh, and then if we further zoom into one of these epithelial cells, we discover that it has four surfaces. We have the basal membrane. At the basal membrane, we have the iodine pump that helps to shift iodide from the blood vessel into the luminal site. And then we also have the luminal aspect of this uh, epithelial cell. Um, then within the cytoplasm, we have a structure known as thyroglobin. Okay, as I said, this is usually just this is just the introductory aspect of our lesson. In our subsequent lesson, we'll look at how T3 and T4 are synthesized. Thank you very much.